Hello, I'm uh, John Langford with J&J Weatherization from Lynchburg, Virginia. And this is... I'm Anthony Cox. I work with the uh, New River Center for Energy Research and Training in Virginia. We also run a weatherization program there. Uh, and we're here with Miss Dixon here in Atlanta. And we're going to do a live assessment of her home. And uh, we're going to you know, do a live feed. And some of the things we're looking at are... And our goals here are to make uh, Mrs. Dixon more comfortable in her home, uh, make sure she's health and safety is a big issue, to make sure her heating system and her home is safe, then uh, the end product's going to be able to give Mrs. Dixon more disposable income. So you ready to get started? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and head into the kitchen and you can take off around the house Right. and uh, get Mrs. Miss Dixon in and out of the cold for a few minutes. <laughs> What I'm going to be doing is filling out an assessment form on the house. And how I do that is I walk up around the house and take my measurements. I'm looking for anything that's obvious on the house, uh, water problems, uh, health and safety issues. I'm looking for accessibility for my uh, men to come out and do the work on the house. So we'll do that, and if I'm doing an, a, a meal or a neat audit on the unit, then I'm gonna start measuring the house up, getting my wall dimensions, getting my window and door dimensions, and listing what they are on my assessment form. So as we walk around, I'm trying to note where different things are in the house. I'm looking at gutters, I'm looking how water is drained away from the house to make sure I don't have a lot of puddling or condensation or water up under the crawl space, so I like to see the lateral movement of water from away from the house. I want to note my access areas to the house, uh, crawl space doors, entry doors. Uh, if I have animals in the yard, uh, are they uh, contained for my crews to actually do work on the house? We can move along, but I'm noticing that we have a crawl space door, and this is going to give me access to the furnace. and what my duct system, which is under the house. Then we're gonna go around towards the back of the house and seeing how the house is shaped. I'm measuring the house the whole time I'm doing it. I'm getting my dimensions of the wall and how, what the house is made of. This house is a brick home. Uh, does it ha and I won't know if my insulation is here or not until after I get into the interior of the house but I know if I'm gonna to have to do an insulation job on the house, then I'm gonna to have to probably do it from the inside. It's it, 75 CFMs, but it actually may only produce 50 CFMs or less. And it's really important when we get a house real 